spiritual prayer warriors. It is a new low, a dark day for America. Yesterday, President Trump was illegally convicted of fabricated charges. Those who have any intellectual integrity, honesty, and any sense of spiritual discernment understand how disgusting and indeed sickening that whole thing is. Trump derangement syndrome is demonically inspired. It's a demonic strategy to bewitch masses of people to come against the United States, Christianity, and all that we represent of what this nation was founded on. There's several things that I want to say, what I believe right up front. Number one, Trump will be vindicated. I believe that. Number two, I believe that Trump will be our next president. Number three, I believe that righteousness will be restored to America. And number four, I believe that this is the day of the Lion's Army, our finest hour, the Lion's Army, the warriors of Jesus Christ following the Lion of the tribe of Judah to do warfare against the darkness that has invaded America. There's several things that I want to talk about. Uh, and, and first, I want to encourage you that if you are as angry about this, it's okay to admit it and also resist the spirit of religion and religious doctrines that would try to silence you or shut you up or say you can't be angry about it. No, be angry about it, but channel your anger in the right way. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Use your authority. Rise up against it. Don't get into the flesh and strive, but that doesn't mean to stop doing things in the natural realm. No, do everything that you can and are led by the Spirit of God to do in the natural realm. One of the things that you can do is like, for instance, on this video right now, subscribe to our channel. Uh, you know, hit the notification bell. Why do I say that? That's something that you can do right now to combat the censorship that the far left is attempting to bring upon us who are supporters of Jesus Christ in America, of Donald Trump in America, righteousness in America, avoid and stop the censorship in every way that we can. So I want to remind you of a couple of things real quickly, some visions that I've had to encourage you, I think, along the way. The very first thing is that in April of 2016, I had an angelic visitation during a prayer meeting, and an angel came and stood beside me, and he said these words to me. And the whole time he was speaking these words, he showed Donald Trump's face to me. Remember, this was uh, before the 2016 presidential election, and the primary was still going, and they haven't even officially uh, selected a candidate. And the angel said this, the dogs of hell have been released against the one with the hand of the Lord on him. Pray against false witness, hatred, and murder. Speak truth and justice into the atmosphere, and we shall break the spiritual teeth of the enemy. What that angel was saying is that Donald Trump was the one with the hand of the Lord on him, and that proved to be true, and it is still true today. But he said that the dogs of hell were released against him, what uh, his platform, what he would like to do for America, and anybody that would line up with and support that agenda. And it was false witness, fabrication, lies, deceit, hatred, visceral contempt that's completely irrational and would believe anything false against him. And then murder, character assassination, the willingness to do anything to destroy the man, to stop the man and his followers. And that's what we witnessed yesterday. A new low in that attempt. And so pray against them. I pray against those in the name of Jesus. But he also said, speak truth and justice into the atmosphere. We need truth and justice in America right now. God's truth, God's justice, righteousness, 
justification for it. We need a, a revival in America right now, a spiritual awakening in America to bring us back. And I believe that is happening behind the scenes. You can see it boiling and bubbling and working in the spiritual realm, and it will break forth. Hallelujah. Another vision that I had is that in September of 2020, I saw a vision that unnerved me. The first time I've ever been unnerved. Not afraid, but unnerved, if that makes sense to you. Because I saw Jezebel's government. I had a vision, and the Spirit of God took me into a place. It was a dark place, and uh, it was deceptive. I could just feel. I, I saw movement. I saw that there were beings. There was uh, intent. There were strategies that were being planned and worked out, and uh and, and I just felt this just come into my heart. And these I'll describe what I felt and discerned in that moment because I knew it was Jezebel. When I talk about Jezebel, I'm talking about the ruling political spirit of Jezebel, Baalism, the beast that's driving all of this stuff on the far left in America, mixed in with a whole bunch of other junk. But... The first thing I felt was that I could see that it was revolution. It was not just what we would call a socialist democracy, that it was progressive enlightenment, that so many people think that America is just uh, progressing at this particular point. We need to go to the left and go down these avenues to make our nation better. No, that, that was part of the deception. Jezebel's intent was outright revolution and the changing of government. And the changing of government that I felt, I witnessed, I saw was an osmosis thing is um, was actually a dictatorship by what was labeled as social democracy because the intent was a one party rule. In democracy, you have different parties. But if it's the one party that by any form of deception, can take over, then their leader becomes, in essence, a dictator. But this dictatorship was moral lawlessness. I mean, we're talking about depravity, lewdness, perversion, and just distortion, all kinds of lawlessness, sexual lawlessness, legal lawlessness. It just didn't make any sense. It was pure wickedness. The purpose was to end democracy as we know it, to end capitalism in America, and to combat, come against, and try to end Christianity in America. All of those things I felt. I did a video. It's right there. And so then the last thing that I wanted to share with you, you know, see, we're talking about that unnerving wickedness on the far left what's going on we talk about how that president trump is the one with the hand of the lord on him the next thing is the lion's army the lion's army are those of us who have been risen up to follow the lion of the tribe of judah in winning this warfare in the spiritual realm and in the very last vision that the Lord gave to me about the lion's army, and that was in August of 23, in it, there was a disinfecting of the White House by the S-O-N-L-I-G-H-T, sunlight of God coming through the lion's army, disinfecting, purging, healing the White House, the symbol of of our government, and of our nation. I believe that we can take this by force, spiritual force, spiritual force. You know, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and violent ones take it by force. Well, the kingdom of God in our nation is taken by violence. Violent ones who would rise up and push through the opposition and the wickedness and the deception in order to bring righteousness forcefully by what? 
The force of the spiritual realm is authority. It's prayer. It's faith. And then it's walking out our faith. So I want to pray for you right now. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every one of the Lion's Army warriors. I pray, Lord, that the energy of the Holy Spirit on the inside that manifests through the disgust and the anger that they have is channeled in releasing judgment upon the head of the enemy, Jezebel, Antichrist. The way it manifests with Marxism, communism, socialism. You look at all of the anti-Semitism and everything that's going on in America right now. All of it is there. But we have the power to turn it all around. And we will not give up. Lion's army, roar. Rise up and roar. And I pray for the release of the power into every one of our lives. Release it. Holy Spirit now. In Jesus' blessed name. Amen. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Fight the good fight of faith. And we will see righteousness restored to America. We will see the vindication of Donald Trump. And we will see the greatest revival that this nation has ever witnessed in the name of Jesus. I love you. I bless you. CK and I pray for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The link to our website is in the description on this video. Would you visit our website while you're there? Would you consider becoming a partner of this ministry? You can do that. There's a secure donation page. You can pray for us. You can donate, you can support, so that we can continue in this endeavor of prophetically helping the body of Christ take back America. God bless you.